Welcome back, guys. Bushcraft family with another video. Um, and there goes our cats running through the house. Anyways, um, yeah, we're back on the, the recalls again. Um, usually I try to stay away from this because it's just an ongoing, ongoing, ongoing thing. But when I have concerns, uh, when I see trends... Um, when I find, you know, oddities in our food and stuff, check, check, check. It's time to bring it to the public, so to speak. Um, now, I know a lot of people just don't pay attention to the food that they get and, and whatnot. It's just, you know, um, it's it's a thing that it's at the store. They don't pay attention to what's past that or what comes after that, I guess. Anyways, let's get down to it. I will post all these links down below so you can check out each and every one of them, uh, all the recalls and all that stuff. Our first one, Carg Hill, uh, recalls ground beef from Walmart stores because of E. coli contamination. Again, yes. Um, they are recalling more than 16,000 pounds of raw ground beef produced or, or beef products that may be contaminated with E. coli. Um, they even have the strain of E. coli and everything, which one it is. Um the U.S. Department of Agriculture Food Safety Inspection announced that the ground beef was shipped to Walmart stores nationwide. And again, more information down below in the description for all the links and whatnot. Um, next one. <laughs> Michigan Company recalls ground black pepper. After testing shows salmonella, hmm, in pepper. Uh, UBC food distrib distributors in Dearborn, Michigan, is recalling ground pepper, ground black pepper, under the bar uh, barca brand name in seven ounce plastic containers and the code and everything, you know, just, just check the description <laughs> uh, because it has been contaminated with salmonella. Um, now, during these reports, if you, you, you read far enough in it, you'll actually see how many people it takes for them to notice this stuff. And that's the shocking part. <clears throat> Our next one is a rinse and a repeat type of thing that has been going on for four years now. Um, and my bird's back. Uh, baby food recalled over listeria concerns. Again. <sighs> Why is this such an issue with baby formula? Once upon a farm, uh, PBC of Berkeley, California, is recalling once upon a time farm organic plant rich meal, uh, carrots, beans, because it potentially has listeria. Um, and this, this has been going on for so long with the baby food. Where is our government that, you know, mandates this safety and stuff of these plants? It's, it's like one case after another comes in and they don't do anything about it. Um, 
I remember back in the day, if something happened, boy, companies would get would be getting fined left and right. Of course, they wouldn't really care too much because they have all that extra money that they put back towards fines and regulations and all that stuff. But ooh, this is this is concerning. And let's get back to some more salmonella. <laughs> Recalled cucumbers may be source of ongoing salmonella outbreak. Uh, Florida, a Florida company, is recalling cucumbers because testing has shown salmonella. Uh, the FDA has reported that the recall could be related to ongoing outbreak. Yes, there is a ongoing outbreak of salmonella right now that is all over the United States. People are getting sick left and right. They're having all these issues. <clears throat> um, and they're thinking it's cucumbers. But a lot of our food has this salmonella in it right now. And... It's it's just going rampant. Here's our next case here. Um, Oregon health officials ask public to fill out survey on shell, shellfish, shellfish in wake of poisoning outbreak. Yeah, there has been numerous sicknesses going around with, uh, and it's it's linked to. Uh, uh, the self shellfish, uh, biotoxins, you you name it, um, and if you you want to, you know, fill out this little survey thing. Hey, stop! Sit up there and be good. <laughs> Anyways, our next is guess what? FDE. FDA issues safety alert for infant formula because of more listeria and salmonella. Um, yeah. And this will be down in the description as well. Um, and this is uh, infant powdered goat milk formula and other infant products imported and distributed by Dairy Manufacturers Incorporated. Um, yeah, it's ongoing with this stuff. It's again, where is FDA? FDA reports all this stuff, but what are they doing about it? Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Breakfast potatoes. Uh, yeah. Recalled after listeria concerns. You you see a pattern here, don't you? Listeria, salmonella. Uh, outbreak of illnesses throughout the United States. New classic cooking LLC of New Jersey is recalling vegetable made great brand broccoli cheddar cheddar uh, breakfast potato bakes possible listeria contamination according to details published online by the Food and Drug Administration the recall was initiated on May 9th I haven't heard anything about it until now just doing some investigating on outbreaks and stuff. Hmm. Here's our next one. Fresh and lean pot pie meals recalled over wisteria. Yes. Um, Nutrition Corp of Musick, Pennsylvania, is recalling fresh and lean brand cutlass chicken potato pot pies because of listeria. And 
according to details published online by the Food and Drug Administration, the recall was uh, initiated on April 25th. And this is just now coming out. Thank you. <laughs> uh, here we go. Fuji water recalled after testing finds uh, magnesium and magnesium and bacteria. Uh, you you may think, well, that's the bacteria is bad, but depends on the level. Okay, uh, natural artistine water, five hundred mill milliliters, twenty four pack case. Because uh, firm tested revealed magnesium in additional levels, three other bacterias were found in this water. Got to pay. Got to. Got to. Um, anytime you go to a store, you got to check, make sure there's no recalls on this stuff. Because, and again, this this was reported to the FDA. March 4th, just now coming out. Here's another one. Infin formula recalled in Texas after products sold without complying with FDA's infant formula re, re, uh, regulations. Don't know if anything was in it or any listeria or salmonella or whatever. It just went out without going through regulations. How many times does this happen? Who knows? It seems like an ongoing thing. Um, here, here's here's one that. Uh, kind of gets me here uh, company refuses to recall apricot products despite FDA warning of possible cyanide poisoning which to be honest the cyanide could have came from the actual pits of the apricot too. So, and that's a cleaning process that they didn't may have not. And it's hard to say what kind of cyanide it is or anything. So I'm, I'm not expert or anything, but yeah, the FDA is warning consumers against consuming apricot powder products because of the presence of toxic compound, uh, which contain, Led to lead or lead to cyanide poisoning. Yeah, following uh, receipt of the complaint of a sample results, the Food and Drug Administration notified Apricot Powder, Apricot Power of the results and initial concerns on May 8th. Just now coming out. May 8th. How how many how how many of this uh, apricot um, things were consumed by then? And that's that that's about all I'm going to do with today's uh, report here um, I could probably do these every day because it's it's alarming how much of this is getting out how many recalls and stuff and you could just say well it's it's just easier because we have the internet and there's so much more of it because of reporting and everything um, than it used to be because it used to be it these things were on the back of the store and there was like recall stuff that was on a bulletin or something. 
but now they don't even post the stuff in grocery stores anymore. It's just, you know, you, you get this information online most of the time. But who actually goes and looks for these things? Most people just go out and buy the food and hope that uh, they're not playing Russian roulette in a, in a sort of uh, a way. Um, the issue, some of the issues with the salmonella, the list, listeria, and all that, um, the baby food, the baby formula, that, that's an ongoing thing that shouldn't have gone on years, let alone months or weeks. This has been going on years. Not not talking about the shortages and stuff that they we went through, and we had to get it from other countries. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. Again, everything's going to be down below in the description. Um, God bless.